Hello everybody, welcome to a new video of a new kitty that comes up to my door. She's a stray, she's been around for a little bit. She's pregnant, obviously. And I call her Callie because she's a calico cat. I don't know, y'all can think of a better name, I bet. But like, she, um, I think she's one of my friend's cats and she just always comes over here. I don't know what my friends calls her, so I just call it Callie. She's a pretty cool kitty. She's probably about to get birth soon, like a couple of weeks, because it looks like she keeps like looking down there, and that's like a sign that a cat's probably about to get birth. I don't know. I might. I just. I might be just like crazy. So, um, update on COVID-19 in, um, my area of Texas. There's a curfew. I'm not allowed to, um, not allowed to leave my house without an adult. I'm allowed to be, like, in the front of my house, but can't go anywhere. America. Anyways, so I'm not allowed to leave the house. COVID-19 is getting pretty scary. Uh, I'm not scared. I'm just worried about other people because I know... People are stupid, and they keep, like, buying up everything, and, like, I'll turn the camera away while I talk. Ow, she's, like, clawing into my foot while she did that. Anyways, so, like, they're probably going to put martial law on us, and, like, people are robbing each other at Walmart to get toilet paper and water. <laughs> people are freaking crazy. A lot of old people are, like, buying up everything, even though they don't need it. <sighs> If everyone just shopped like normal, we'd have plenty of stuff to buy. And, like, plenty of stuff. But no, people would just buy everything up. So, like, they're probably going to place martial law on us soon. I'm afraid because a lot of people down here think they know their rights and think that, that they're allowed to do what they want. And the U.S. government can't tell them otherwise. And they're probably going to get, like, in trouble with the law. And what I'm desperately afraid of is people will fight the military that come down here. Even though it's not their fault. They're just having to enforce the law. Stop moving that pencil. Look it away. Um, so yeah, that's an update on Corona. But let's not focus on Corona. Go back to this pretty kitty kitty. She's so sweet. She's always She comes here every single day at certain, like around 5. She came here earlier this morning. I just couldn't answer. I uh, I act like she rung the doorbell, but she didn't. Um. So yeah, and this, are you gonna jump up here? Come on, come on. Dang, she did that once. She jumped up in the lap. Come on, do it again. Come on, come on, hey, dang. She she's a very friendly cat. I think she's just trying a suitable place. She's trying to find a suitable place to give birth, which I'm scared because my parents are probably going to go animal control. So I hope she get out of my face. No, you cannot get in my face. I'm, I don't like it when she's standing up here because, like, she continues to fall and she uses her claws to stay back on. And it hurts a lot. I'm trying not to, like, oh, my gosh, stop moving. Well... That is, no, she's nursing. Oh, that's, um, that's weird. There's a, oh, jeez. Ah! Pain, feed the child. He freaking threw the blanket away. Who? Daddy. Uh, bruh. You know daddy threw the blanket <laughs> away? Oh, he was recording. All right, bye, guys.